Hi, my name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things luxury skincare related. And on this channel, we talk about luxury skincare products. We compare luxury skincare products, we review luxury skincare products. We just give you all of that non-judgmental tea that we need in this community. And you can get that here on my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a compare and contrast and a first impression. And it's going to be on the Moisturizing Soft Lotion by La Mer. If you're new, guys, I'm the biggest La Mer junkie you'll ever meet. The next one we'll be comparing is the Moisturizing Matte Lotion right here. I've been a La Mer lover for like, that's how I, I think my first video on this channel was about the Moisturizing Soft Cream. So let me just say this. I love all the La Mer creams. I love Creme de La Mer is my favorite. Actually, it's a close. It's Creme de La Mer, the Moisturizing Soft. Those two are always kind of battling, but I think Creme de La Mer, I'm just like addicted to it. And then the Cooling Gel Moisturizer, all of which have different videos on my channel. So if you want to go check out my Ultimate Luxury Skincare Reviews playlist on this channel, that's where you're going to find all my insanely luxury skincare reviews. La Mer, their creams, if you're not familiar, their creams are in like these beautiful like little opal jars. They're heavy, they're luxe, they're amazing. But there's always these lotions that I see where it's like the moisturizing soft lotion. It's like, well, what's the difference between that and the moisturizing soft cream? That's gonna be for another video because I'm still, every time I ask somebody like a La Mer rep or somebody, I'm not getting, I don't get a clear cut answer. I don't know if it's just different textures, but we're gonna try it out today on this channel. And then the moisturizing matte lotion, which is really exciting because La Mer always gives you like this natural, beautiful, glorious glow that I personally like to bask in. I, I like to like bathe in it. So a matte lotion though, I think would be nice because if for those super oily people who are just like really, really oily and they're just like, no, please, no more shine, no more shine, no more glow, like we're over it, I get it. Now, I want to let you know that I have filmed this video before and I didn't like the way the footage came out, so this is like a refilm, so bear with me, but it's nice to try these products again. Like the luxury skincare queens that we are, let's get it popping. So, the first one we're gonna do the moisturizing matte lotion. What I usually like to do in these videos is I'm gonna put it on the back of my hands and I'm gonna apply it to the left side of my face so you can see how it applies. One of the things that I love about their lotions is that they come in completely different packaging. This is the packaging that they come in. I'm right on the La Mer site and you pump them down, which I think is great because a lot of people don't like air hitting their products. I know I don't. A lot of luxury skincare brands still use jars, which is like luxurious and we love the way they look on our countertops. They're basically, actually I decorate with my La Mer packaging. I mean, I don't know, it just is what it is. But I like the way that these are packaged. So it's quick absorbing and lasting moisture. So I'm anticipating these to be a little thinner. At the fast absorbing lotion delivers renewing moisture for a balanced glow. We're living. Skin looks naturally vibrant, restored to its healthiest center. Miracle Rot, the legendary healing elixir, which is like basically what we want out of these products, the Miracle Broth. It's all about the Miracle Broth and how much of it can we just layer on our skin. So here is the moisturizing soft lotion right here on the back of my hand. This, I was actually pretty impressed and surprised at the texture of it because I was anticipating it to be a lot thinner in consistency, but it's actually on the thicker side, but still smooth like a lotion. I mean, of course I always have to like describe what it is because you can't really see it on camera the best, but look at how that just kind of glides over your skin. You just pat a small amount between the fingertips, press gently into cleanse dry, cleanse skin morning and night. So that's very typical of La Mer. So what you do with La Mer products, I just have a little bit because I'm only using the left side of my face. And don't forget, La Mer products last you so long. Like a little goes a long way. So what you do, I put just a little more on, is you just rub it in between your fingertips until it becomes translucent. I have found patting all La Mer products into your skin um, is just best for application purposes. So it looks translucent on my hands. It looks like it's all rubbed in, but I promise you it's not. You, you just, what I just do is I just gently tap it onto my skin. And what do you guys think? I do have to say, in comparison to the creams, this is definitely fast absorbing like it, it it is i feel like you get more out of the cream just because they're thicker and it doesn't feel like you need as much on your skin because they're so 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 moisturizing so if you're looking for a little bit of lighter 
coverage or a lighter consistency, you're really gonna like the lotion, and this lotion, being that it's their soft lotion, makes your skin super, super soft. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have yet to find a cream that was as soft as the La Mer moisturizers. Like, they're soft cream, they're soft lotion. Like, nothing makes my skin as soft as these, as these creams. So here it is on the left side of my face. It's honestly, there's no tackiness. There's no stickiness. My skin is just very smooth and soft and that's it. There's no like sticky glow. That's like, like people don't like that look. It just sinks right into your skin and it looks beautiful. So the next product that I'm going to be trying is their moisturizing matte lotion. So this is the one that I was like, whoa, like I, this is really, really new to me because I've tried the soft cream, but I've never tried a matte a matte moisturizer by La Mer yet. I'm not really a matte type of girl. You know what I mean? I like to glow from the heavens above and like La Mer usually always, actually always accommodates me with that. So trying a matte lotion was a little scary for me. I just wanna let you know they both start at $2.95. They're both priced the same. Same packaging as the Moisturizing Soft, which I really am a fan of. And uh, this oil absorbing, oil absorbing lotion delivers renewing moisture while diminishing the look of pores for a fresh matte finish. So of course doused in the, the miracle broth, which is what we just want to eat. I want to eat it. Like Dr. Maximilian Huber used to eat his creams. Like he's the founder of La Mer and he literally would make like creams that were edible. Like he always said, like, I don't want to put anything on my skin that I wouldn't feel comfortable consuming. And like, that's what he did when like La Mer, like old school La Mer first started. I don't know how safe that is today. The matte lotion. And I'm actually going to put the moisturizing soft lotion next to it. So you guys can see the difference of the two. Yeah. Cause they're definitely different. They're different. This one right here, you can very clearly see that it is a little cloudy. It definitely looks like it's a matte cream. Lotion is like matte just sitting on top of my skin. Whereas the moisturizing soft lotion is a little creamier, a little white color, and they're just different consistency, both of which I feel like can cover your skin and give you adequate moisturization. So I don't feel, this one is definitely softer upon application. The soft cream, you could easily feel it just being so, so soft on your skin. And then the matte lotion is like satin. That's how I describe the matte lotion. It's not so, so soft. It's like very satin-like. It's interesting. I love the, I'm just gonna mix the, all the La Mer creams up and just put them on the back of my hands. Oh, I just love La Mer so much. Oh my God. I love the way they smell. Their classic La Mer smell that we love, love, love. Guys, if I buy the Miracle Broth and I pay for the Miracle Broth, yes, I wanna smell like the Miracle Broth. I wanna just live that Miracle Broth life. Wanna know why? Because I'm too luxe to function. We're too luxe to function. The more expensive our skincare is, the happier we'll be and the more radiant we'll be. Duh. Warm it up in between your fingertips. This is classic La Mer application. I personally love the experience. I think it's great and it makes me feel like special <laughs> like it actually makes me feel special to warm the miracle broth up between my fingertips like at this point guys come on if you're new catch up she's a miracle broth lover oh my goodness okay what i want to say oh wow okay definitely different textures on your face definitely definitely this side the left the, the soft lotion so so soft like it's just so soft this side, let me just let it oxidize. Hold on, let me just let it sink in and calm down and then we'll go back in. So everything again is like, honestly, I've always asked people like, well, what's with the lotions? And I'm not talking watery lotion. I'm talking like lotions like this. Like why is there lotions and why is there creams? And actually the lotions are pretty expensive. Like you can get the La Mer creams starting at $90. Like the lotions start at $2.95. How much do you get for $2.95? I'm just curious. 1.7 ounces, so that's a lot. Usually you get for $1.90 and the cream's $1.95, it's one ounce for $1.95. So, well, no, this is still expensive because it's $2.95 for one point. So they're adding an extra basically $100 for that 0.7 ounce. I don't know, but that's pretty pricey. I don't know if it's because like the packaging's a little different because they need a pumper and they're, it's just a different setup. Um, but this is a good idea for a video because I'm actually quite curious like why these are so different. 
Although I'm a fan of all of them, not gonna lie. So guys, she's oxidized. So the matte size, oh my God, okay, great. I'm so happy I let them sit. So the, the matte side is smooth, the soft side is soft. I mean, that's as simple as I can describe it. Now, as far as glow, I was surprised, and I still am surprised, that the matte lotion doesn't totally mattify your skin. It does leave off this gorgeous, natural sheen that I think is very nice that anybody would appreciate. Because here's the thing, people want matte, people want matte, people want to be matte, they don't wanna see anything on their skin, but what happens is you strip your skin of that beautiful vitality. Skin is meant to be nourished. Skin is meant to glow. Skin isn't meant to just like mat out. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? So what I love about the La Mer Matte Lotion is it gives you that matte that you need to control your pores, to control your oils, but it also gives you this beautiful natural finish that I think everybody can benefit from. Also, it doesn't skimp on moisturizing your skin, even though it's considered matte. Both sides of my face feel well, like moisturized for the amount that I use. They, there's no difference, honestly, in the way they moisturize. They're just different textures and they do something different. I honestly, I'm not a matte type of girl. I always love to just glow to the gods. And when I say glow, I don't mean glow with highlighter. I mean like my skin is glowing from the amount of money I spend on my skincare routines and my vigorous, long-winded skincare routines. But I honestly, I'm combination skin. I'm, I'm normal. I'm normal to combination skin. I personally, I definitely get oilier in my T-zone in the summer. I wouldn't have a problem buying the matte lotion. Be honestly, because I, I, out of the two, I'm most impressed with this matte lotion. I feel like if you have the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Lotion and the Moisturizing Soft Cream, there's no need for a lotion. That's my personal opinion. I just wouldn't buy both. I think they're both really nice. Maybe the Moisturizing Soft Cream is a little more hydrating, but I don't see a need for both of them. Where matte lotions, I honestly, I out of the two, I like the matte lotion. And honestly, that shocks me. Because every time I see matte, I'm like, eh, okay, next. But no, this gives you gorgeous, natural, like healthy looking glow, just enough, and also mattifying and perfecting your pores. And I think it's beautiful. You mix this with like the concentrate. Damn, your skin's gonna be smooth. It's gonna be like, like a satin dream. I'm not even kidding. All right, you guys, that's all I have to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love, I just love comparing, contrasting, doing first impression, impressions on skincare products. Guys, I know it's hard to do first impressions on skincare products too because it's it's just kind of like, well, like you have to use them for a long time, like over time in order to like figure this out. But I've been using La Mer forever. You guys know I'm a total La Mer junkie. So I'm still a little familiar with the way the brand works. So I feel a little more comfortable doing a first impression. However, I do understand these need to be tested out over time. Let me know which one you think that I should buy if I were to buy a full size. I'm curious to see what you guys think and what the camera has picked up in terms of how my skin looks and well, the way it feels is amazing, but how it looks on camera. Let me know what you guys think and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting updated skincare routines as well as personal outfits and sharing more of my life over there. Also, subscribe to this channel. We are always popping and talking about luxury skincare and if you don't wanna buy luxury skincare, you don't have to. You're gonna still get the experience anyway here on this channel. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Love you. Bye.